Redistricting plans in San Francisco continue to anger community members who say they're being unfairly divided. Neighborhood groups and LGBTQ organizations are rallying against current plans to redraw the map. Cronforce Dan Thorne has that story. On its head is Frustrations just are boiling as San Francisco's nuts. redistricting task force stand. is redrawing community maps. Advocates for affected neighborhoods such as the Tenderloin and Soma are rallying against the proposals. It's been kind of a sham to be honest. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated beyond belief. Our community, the residents in the Tenderloin are in shock. Community organizer Curtis Bradford says current plans hurt the city's most vulnerable communities while also splitting up neighborhoods with shared interests and deep relationships. LGBTQ advocates have echoed those sentiments, saying cultural districts, including queer and trans communities, need to be protected, not separated. They're angry, but they're also, they also feel beaten down by this, and they just feel like this is sort of like a last punch in the stomach or kick in the teeth. Under the proposals, part of the Tenderloin would be moved to District 5 to join the West Western Edition and Japantown. Bradford argues this is one example of trying to connect communities who have nothing in common. The redrawing of districts is happening because of changes in San Francisco's neighborhood populations. Ditka Reiner, vice chair of the redistricting task force, tells Cron 4 News they're trying to do a good job and that no one is trying to map anyone out of their districts. But community advocates say public input has been falling on deaf ears. People feel pretty betrayed. I feel pretty betrayed. The final map has to be submitted by April 14th. Reporting in San Francisco, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News. A contingent